school football season. We appreciate them being here at Frickers, the sponsor of tonight's warm up with the Van Work Cougars. And Keith Recker joining us, the head coach, to start things off where numbers are fantastic in Cougarland. Last year we talked here 48 players, this year 78. What's been the explosion? Uh, I think uh, a lot of guys feel the excitement around the program right now and want to be a part of that. And, and I think it's with all sports. All our athletic teams, are, I think, are on the rise, and, and football is definitely in that mix. Uh, I think we have a really good coaching staff that, that kids want to be around. Uh, we have some coaches in the middle school, coaches in the high school, uh, do a good job recruiting and, and, and trying to get kids out. And, and they bought into what we're trying to do, and, and I think they enjoy it. No question about it. the culture you guys are building really seems to be growing from year to year and into the other sports as well. Is it nice, you know, when we talked four years ago, you were just trying to start that process. How does it look now as you've seen the effects of that hard work? It's, it's, it's really neat uh, to see how this thing has progressed. And, and these guys could tell you best because they were here as freshmen when we first started this process and, and trying to get them to buy into the work ethic it takes, the accountability, uh, the leadership, all those things that, that we've mixed in and, and just willing to go compete. And they bought into all that, and, and I think as seniors now, they can see where we progressed uh, since freshman. And, and I think it has to be satisfying for them and for coaches. It's, it's still work in progress. Never, uh, we're never finished with it, so it's <laughs> going to continue for the years to come. As you guys were walking into the room here at Frickers, there, there were little kids everywhere. There's been a boom of little kids on the coaching staff. Yep. Really, really interesting that's year a, for you guys. That's a prerequisite to be a coach is, is you have to have somebody younger than four. On your, <laughs> on, uh, but we got a young coaching staff that I think, again, I think that's what maybe helps us relate to them a little bit. we got a young coaching staff, but with that comes – uh, a lot of young kids, a couple of us, uh, myself and, and Ryan Parrish, one of our coaches, had kids here recently, uh, himself in April and me in June. Uh, and, and so we count on our wives and our families a ton to help us out during this prog uh, process. So Each summer you take the football team on a camping trip up by the lake. Uh, this year Oak Harbor couldn't compete with you, so you scheduled a seven-on-seven -seven on the way back. Just kind of take us through that trip and what you learned about your team. Well, I think the first thing we learned is, is we can fit a lot of guys in one bus, and, and they weren't too happy about it, but we took one Everyone bus up there. Everyone was in one bus? We, got, we took one bus, so, uh, but we got up there, and, and I think the guys have a good time with it. Uh, some of them know the area now, and, and they just go and explore and, and go down to the lake and swim. And other, We play volleyball against the coaches, and, and I believe the coaches won again. Uh, and, and just they have a good time with it, and it's, it's really neat. Um, just to watch them kind of come together. Guys, you're not sure that would hang out together or, or off playing something. And uh, probably a neat experience for, for all those. And, and some guys don't get to go camping probably in their lifetime. So something neat for them to do. And then a nice seven on seven at Tiffin Columbian with them and Clay. Yeah, Tiffin Columbian is a very good program. Uh, Oregon Clay has a second year coach and, and they're trying to get back a tough conference with the Three Rivers Athletic yeah. Conference. So uh, tough, tough conference for them. But Tiffin Columbian, a, a real good program. And so it was neat to go compete with them, and, and we were right there with them. And, and it is a, just a seven-on-seven, seven, but it was a chance to compete against some really good athletes, and, and we were right there with them. First scrimmage was last night against Wayne Trace. What do you feel you did well in that? Uh, defensively, we flew to the ball. That was the one thing that stood out. And, and Jason Cross, our defensive coordinator, and his coaching staff have really been preaching that, and, and it showed. And, and part of that is we have some speed on defense, uh, and those guys flew to the ball and, and were willing to hit. Uh, came with bad intentions, as we say, when, when they got there. So that was, that was good to see. We need that defensively. Um, offensively, we move the ball well at times. Uh, I, th I think we, we need to, to get going on the run game a little bit so we can open some things up pass-wise. So uh, definitely some things to work on offensively and defensively, but for the most part, we're pretty happy with how it went. A lot of your guys are back. You mentioned some of the seniors played for you as freshmen. Mm -hmm. You feel like that returning crew from last year is going to help improve on that 3-7 and seven record? Absolutely, and, and it was neat to watch one of our seniors, Ryan Stoller. Uh, somebody asked him, well, you know, seems like 1-9, 1-9, 3-7. and, nine, one and, nine, three and seven. The next step is, is get to 500, get over that 500. And he said, no, that's, that's not our goal. We, we're going to be better than that. And, and it's good because that, that, we have that expectation. Sure. We go into every game expecting to win, but with the players having that expectation, we have a great chance then. And, and there is. There's not a team on our schedule I don't think we can compete with. And uh, 
but with saying that, there's some really good teams on our schedule still, so we're going to have to uh, keep preparing and keep getting better so we can go compete. Speaking of which, the, the first three games, you got Brian, you got at St. Mary's, and then Ottawa Glendorf. You're going to find out real quickly how good this team yeah, is. Yeah, we'll know, we'll know real fast. Brian will be interesting with a new coach, a right. uh, guy coming from Florida, uh, to see what different schemes they'll change or, or how they'll change their schemes. And, and St. Mary's is a team we ended with last mm -hmm. year and with Coach Fryback. Uh, they're going to continue to improve and, and be very good. And then you have OG, who is a, a great program, a smaller school in the league, similar to us, so, uh, but a school that competes in every sport there is. So uh, kind of a school that you can look at and, and say they're doing it right. And so three, three teams, and we'll find out pretty quickly how good we are. Talked about some of your speed. The track and field team has had great success the last couple of seasons. Some of those guys, I'm sure, can make a difference on the football team this year. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it's a game of speed and, and getting to the ball and getting guys the ball. And uh, Keegan Hardman, Chris Hart, a couple of those guys that, that were on that track team are playing. And, and I'm sure there's others. Uh, you know, that Having that speed helps. And, and, and a couple of our guys, even Colin Smith, went out for track this year. And I, I think that helped his speed. Um, and, and our track team does a great job. Coach Collins and, and his staff do a great job. So um, it's fun to see those guys compete in another sport, and it's nice when they get to us and, and the, you can see the improvement in their athleticism. Not only growth on the football field and in your numbers, but also the, the support of the community almost. Last year the new uniforms were, were purchased this year, a new locker room being put up right next to the stadium. Just what does that mean to see the community come together? It, it's, it's very neat to see how they've come together to support this team. Uh, it, it means a ton because it means we got guys behind us. You know, it, it, we don't want to live in a bubble of coaches and players, and, and that's our football program. Our football program needs to be the Van Wert community, and, and we're getting to that point. You know, we want everybody on board. We want everybody to feel like this is their team, and, and Friday night is the thing to do. And, and, and I think we're getting there, and, and winning helps that. People want to jump on board when you're winning, and, and hopefully we can take care of that this year. Last question, a couple scrimmages left against your buddy Adam Miller down in Versailles, mm -hmm. and then also against Crestview, which has become a nice little rivalry before the season starts. What do you need to work on to get better in, in those two scrimmages? I'd like to see our offensive line uh, really come together and, and really take control. We're going we're to win the game offensively with them, whether it's, whether it's running, throwing. I mean, we, we want to run the ball, and, and they need to be good to do that. And we've got a hole to fill there at the center position. Mm -hmm. Uh, a pretty important position in the offensive line. So we need somebody to step up and take that. Uh, and so these next two scrimmages, we'll, we'll get a good idea of who that's going to be. And, and defensively, just keep, keep doing what they're doing. Uh, continue to improve. Uh, find some depth would be a big thing for us. Um, some of those guys that maybe aren't starting, because we have a lot of guys back, nine starters on offense, nine on defense. So we need those guys behind. If, if somebody needs a break, we got to be ready to put somebody in. And so we, we really need to improve our depth over the next two scrimmages so we're ready to go against Brian. Cougars hungry for that first game against Brian. Hungry here at Frickers. We'll take a quick timeout when we return. Matt Finkel will stop by with some of the players. It's the warm-up with Van Wert here from Frickers on WSN. Back here on the warm-up, great job by the cheerleaders here at Frickers, and we're with two of the seniors who they'll be cheering on this year for the Van Wert Cougars team. Colin Smith, senior quarterback and defensive back, is to my right. Justice Tussing, senior running back, defensive back on the end. Colin, let's start with you. How's camp going? Seems like a lot of energy. There's a lot of energy in this room here. I'm assuming a lot of energy at camp. Yeah, um, it's, it's crazy. With the amount of seniors that we have this year and the leadership, um, camp has amped up a lot this year. Um, from previous years, and it's just it's amazing to see. Justice, have you seen this group ready to take that next step? Coach talked about one and nine, one and nine, three and seven. Sounds like you're ready to make some noise in the Western Buckeye League. Yes, I would say uh, the senior class most definitely coming in as freshmen. We kind of had high expectations for our senior year, and it's something we've always looked forward to, and it's just kind of crazy that it's finally here, and we hope to make the best of it. Yeah, Colin, what's it like having so many seniors? The numbers are up. You said, you said there's 20-something seniors on this team. What does that do for team camaraderie one and then leadership? Um, well, we, us seniors, um, we work with uh, our team chaplain, uh, Coach Hellman, and that's helped a lot as, like, me and Justice and a bunch of other uh, seniors now. We played when we were sophomores, and that helped us, obviously, with maturity, with age. Um, 
we become a lot better leaders and uh, leave a legacy here at Van Wert. Justice, how did the camping trip go, and did that bring you guys even closer together? You must know each other well at this point. Yeah, that's usually – it's a lot of fun. It, it's just kind of a good time to get the younger guys and the older guys together because, I mean, we're all on one campsite. I think we had 15 tents and a sort of a small area for that many people, so it kind of just forces you to come together. Colin, what's an area this team needs to work on between now and you take the field for week one? Um, I think – Last night, I think we did pretty well um, defensively. Offensively, um, I think we need to get, move the ball a little bit more. There was a dead period um, in the middle, but then we picked it up at the end. Um, but, I mean, that will, with each scrimmage, that will uh, get better. So, Justice goals for this season, for you personally and for the team? Uh, personally, I would say I'd just like to improve uh, my rushing, rushing yards. Last year, I was short of 1,000 yards by 45. And I just hope to surpass that this year. As a team, um, I would say definitely win the league. It's something we really think we can do, and we hope to make the playoffs. Well, best of luck to you, Justice and Colin. And we need to take a break here on the warm-up from Frickers, but looking forward to talking to a couple more Cougar seniors when we return. Welcome back to the warm-up from Frickers. We've got a couple more Cougar seniors joining me to talk about the upcoming season. It is Ryan Stoller, wide receiver, defensive back to my right, and Caleb Cantrell on the end, offensive lineman, defensive lineman. Ryan, let's start with you. Scrimmage last night. Sounds like things went really well. What would you get out of that first um, chance on the field? It was a lot of fun just to play someone, I mean, that's not on our team. And... Uh, we have a lot to improve on, and we're going to play a really good team in Versailles on Saturday, and um, we're looking to improve offense. Our defense did really well. I mean, there's still areas to improve, but offensively, we need to get a lot better. Caleb, on both lines, and both the offense and the defense are returning nine starters, so it should be a cohesive unit. What can we expect up front in the trenches? Are you guys working hard in practice? Yes, we are. We have a great offensive lineman coach, and we got a lot of beef up front. We got uh, over a thousand pounds just between all five of us, <laughs> so we're pretty big boys. Yeah, up you'll there. need that, especially in the Western Buckeye League, because they got some big guys in there too. Ryan, yeah. competing in the WBL, you know it's going to be a grind. Where do you see yourself fitting in? Last year you got three league wins, so, uh, hoping for more this year. Yeah, um, I mean it's senior year. I mean we want to finish at the top, and I don't think anything else is going to satisfy the seniors on this team. Caleb, what do you need to accomplish before week one? We need to get ready to expect a winning season. You know, we have to get ready to get amplified for Friday night. Well, part of that winning culture, I think, started in the spring. You played baseball, right, Ryan? Yeah. A tremendous baseball season. How did that postseason experience help get you excited for the fall? And, and I'm sure you'd like to continue that. Yeah, I mean, just that mentality that, I mean, we can win. And, I mean, even if we're the underdogs, we can go in there and still pull out a victory. And if we carry that over into football, we're going to have a good year. Caleb, the numbers in camp and the numbers on the team are way up. How does that help out at practice, and does it make it more intense? Are guys competing now that they know someone's breathing right down their neck? Yeah, it's great to see all the numbers out there, and it kind of lets you know, like, you can't take off plays because you got 20 other guys behind you, rear, like, just ready to go to take your spot. So it kind of ups the intensity, keeps you going. Yeah, yep. competition's always a good thing. Ryan, we'll close with you. What's Van Wert's biggest strength right now? Um... <clears throat> Our biggest strength, I mean, I think we have a lot of strengths, but I think our defense is what we're going to hang our hat on this year, and we're not going to give up a lot of points or yards, and we're going to shut down offenses, which is going to be key in the WBL. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you guys. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up from Frickers. Good luck to the Van Wert Cougars in 2015. We'd like to thank all of our guests. For Mark Koontz and our entire crew, I'm Matt Fingal. We'll see you next time on WOSN.